In this problem, we are trying to determine whether triangles have to be congruent or they don't have to be congruent based on the congruent parts that they have. And we're using these four theorems of triangle congruence. Side, side, side says that if all three sides of a triangle are congruent or if two triangles are congruent to each other, then the triangles are congruent. Side, angle, side says if you've got two sides with an angle in between them, that's enough to prove congruence. Angle, side, angle, similar, except an, uh, a side sandwich between two angles. Or the angle, angle, side theorem, if you've got two angles and one side that are congruent, uh, then you've got two triangles that are congruent. So let's take a look at these. In A, it looks like we have an angle, a, angles A and F are congruent, and a side, ang a side AB and side FD are congruent. But that's all you have, and we, for all of these theorems, we need three parts. This only have, has two parts, so these triangles do not necessarily have to be congruent. Let's look at B. So we have all three sides congruent uh, to each other. So these have to be congruent, and this is by the side, whoops, try that again, side, 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 a congruence property. And let's see this last one down here. Looks like we've got a side that's congruent and two angles. And the side is not in between the angles. So this one would be angle, angle, side, property of congruence. So that is a little bit of work with triangle congruence.